Hello everybody. What I wanted to do in this video today is just try and clear up a bit of confusion I see in the comments a lot about ABEC filters and what they are and everything because I think a lot of people confuse ABEC with either GOST or NATO STANAG like the filter screw connectors where it has nothing to do with the screw connectors ABEC is a way of classifying the filters so what do each letter stand for? I've sort of covered this before but I'll do it again in this video and hopefully it clears things up A stands for organic vapours B stands for inorganic vapours, E stands for acidic gases, and K stands for ammonia. So basically, when it says ABEC, it means it does you know all four of those things. If it's an ABE filter or an ABE filter, that means it doesn't do ammonia. So basically what you've got is the more things on the filter sort of sticker, because uh, ABEC's normally either colour-coded or it will say A and a number, B and a number, you know, whatever. The more letters it has, the more things the filters are combination filtering and protects you against. So, the ones I have here is my Polish ABE filters, and on this bit here, you'll see it says AB2, so that means organic and inorganic gases, it has a protection level of 2, E, it has a protection level of 1, so what the E stands for is the acidic gases, and then P3 has a particulate filter as well with a protection level of 3, which is the best level of protection you can get from a particulate filter. Um, if you go for a typical NBC or CBRN filter, they are either ABE or ABEC. Uh, this is the Israeli 40mm NATO filter, the Type 80. Uh, this would be um, Israeli filters, as far as I'm aware from what I could find on Shalom's website where they make these. Um, they're copies of the American C2A1 filter internally, and then a bit more added to them, which means they're full ABEC P3 filters. So, the actual filter itself, it could be GOST or NATO, it can even be you know proprietary industrial filter, 3M bayonet filters that go on your cheeks. They are um, in all the ABEC type things, so you can look at those and find ABEC combination ones, or you can find just A ones, or just B ones, or whatever. So, ABEC in itself is not a filter thread or anything like that. ABEC tells you what the filter protects for. It's like a chart. Each letter stands for something. You can get some filters which look like the entire alphabet because it's like, you know, every letter stands for a different type of thing. For typical NBC and CBRN filters, they are only ABE or ABEC with a particulate filter as well. So the best CBRN filters give you a lot more protection from various things than the cheaper ones. For example, cheaper NBC and CBRN filters may only give you ABE protection, which means it doesn't protect you from ammonia, which means if ammonia is used in a chemical weapon attack or there's a leak and there's leaks of other gases at the same kind, or say, sorry, same same time, but you know, different types of gases, then you would die because you can't have one filter doing one thing, another filter doing another thing. That's why combination filters are always best, because regardless of what's in the air, even if it's a mixture of things, the filter will protect you. So, there you go, that's what ABE and ABEC is and everything else. Um, so it has nothing to do with the screw thread on the filter at all, because um, people keep saying, oh, is it a NATO filter or is it a packed filter, because it has this, you know, colour coding on it. No, that just stands for what the filter does. Um, I think ABEC's a really good thing, because it basically is a bit more clarification. So, with the older Warsaw Pact and NATO filters, when they were just combination filters, they'd say NBC or CBRN, and that would basically mean that, um, obviously, the filter would protect you from most chemical weapons, biological threats, and nuclear um, irradiated sort of particles, but they didn't actually ever specify what that was. Um, which is a bit of a problem because if you're buying these filters you don't know what they're going to protect you from so as I said I think ABEX a great thing because you can actually read what the filter does if you buy filters from some companies even if they're the they say NBC or CBRN on the filter packet it will actually or the manual it will have all the ABEX letters as well with the numbers so there you go ABEX has nothing to do with who makes the filter or um, the connection of the filter ABEX simply means um, what it protects you from